Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back. I did say that I was going to do a little bit of a haul because over the last couple of months I have bought quite a few things. There's been a lot going on, I've had a lot of emotional turmoil, I've had a lot of change and also makeup is my special interest. I am autistic, I, this is the thing I like. I go for it, I hone in on it, I love it. It is what it is. I spent a lot of my disposable income on it. Whatever, it's fine. The way that I decided to do this was I've done my skincare haul, but I decided I would do my indie makeup haul today. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then do please keep on watching. I should have really kind of put all of this by brand and kind of segmented it together, but if I'm honest, I just kind of shoved everything into a basket and was like, let's just get through this as quickly and painlessly as possible. So that's essentially where we're at. I'm gonna start off first with stuff that I have just done a video on. It's on my channel already, you guys know about it. And it's the Saints Angel Sinners Fairy Tale Collection. So it includes this particular palette beautiful and these three glosses so there's already a video up on that I really enjoyed them I do have like a code it's not affiliated I don't get any money from it it's Teresa 20 but if you are looking to get that just keep an eye out the next thing that I got then are these gloss god palettes so it's the color of rain and lavender skies and I literally just did a video on that this evening so Either you will have seen this video already or it is coming your way, but they are absolutely stunning palettes. I am a Gloss Gods ambassador. There's a code for money off. It's Teresa. I know I hate myself. It is what it is. I'll have links for everything down below as well, and they will be marked as to whether or not they're affiliate. This is the Lavender Skies one. Stunning, let's be real. But the Color of Rain one. Oh in the best way, absolutely stunning, beautiful. I have no regrets. Then the next thing that we have then is this Peaches and Cream, uh, it's called the Peach Nectar Lip Blush Kit. Now, I didn't actually buy this, this was a gift for me. So it includes this lip blush and a lip liner. So, so pretty. Massive thank you to my friend Daniela who gave this to me as a gift. I hugely appreciate it. I swear this isn't just like a video of the stuff that I'm affiliated with, I promise you. But I got this, it's the Clarity Cosmetics Aloha palette. And it is just, I haven't filmed with it yet, I haven't played with it yet, I am waiting. Oh, love it, it's so pretty. It's so fun, it's so vibrant. It reminds me a little bit of their now discontinued Carnival palette, so. Love it. Again, I have an affiliate code, I hate myself, affiliate link, etc. all down below. Bleh. I forgot that I got more gloss gods. It's It's been a genuine issue. I got the What's Your Power palette, which is very kind of um, colourful, not quite rainbow-esque, but not far off. One of the shades did shatter when I got it, but I was able to repress it. Absolutely no problem, super happy with that. By the way, let me know which palettes you want me to kind of try out next. I also got the Look for Rainbows. Now this is an older one, but I am basically completing my Gloss Gods collection. I have pretty much everything at this point. <sighs> Shut the front door. Look at it. Get rid of this. It's gorgeous. Stunning. Um, Again. I regret nothing. Then I went on a Blend Bunny splurge. Now, this is the Lure palette. This came out a couple of months ago. I didn't get it at the time. I kind of waited because I wanted to get a few things together. Eh. And this is one of the ones that I got. So in case you haven't seen it, this is what Lure looks like in typical Blend Bunny fashion. She has kind of segmented the colors as per kind of their category, which, I find aesthetically to be very pleasing. I also picked up their little multi-chrome palette. It's the Trove, super expensive. I think it's like $76 or something. Um, but apparently I was in for a penny, in for a pound. I have a really awful completionist, collectionist sort of a mindset. And 
anyways <laughs> I ended up getting this do I have these sort of colors already yes I do but it's so little and it's small and I've convinced myself apparently that I'm going to end up traveling and somehow there's going to be a travel scenario where I need a little multi-chrome palette explain my mind because I don't get it and I have to say a massive thank you to Buttons for this because there was a point where Glam Light was not delivering to Ireland. They have since changed that. But I really wanted to get my hands on this Chucky palette and the fabulous Buttons. She got it sent to her address and then sent it on to me. So she really helped facilitate me in that. Don't worry, I paid her, guys. Like, I didn't just go, get me this Buttons. I'm not that person, Jesus. But such an interesting palette. So I'm very, very glad I got that. And super glad that they are now selling to Ireland. Because I am uh, looking at that new ghost face collection. Don't know what it involves. But I already know I want it. I'm a massive fan of Nomad Cosmetics. I pretty much have all of their palettes at this point. This is the Oka Van Gogh uh, palette. It's the Safari one. Now, I will say I don't love the co cover of this because there is like a sort of a suede sort of material and um, I'm a very sensory bee. It's just how it is. Uh, and touch, uh, touching this like that actually makes me want to die a little bit inside, which I know is very dramatic. But the inside of the palette is a my cup of tea. It's kind of like grungy greens, earthy tones, beautiful. Um, I normally am not into like marble shades because they stress me out, but I get it for that because it's zebra or zebra if you're American. And I also picked up the Verona Amor and Morte palette. Again, I know this is an older one, but I kind of figured, oh, I'll wait, and then I got it all together. I love that it has that sort of door thing. Like, it's so cute. Love it. I think it's super, super cute. Very, very nice. And I picked up the Royal Europe palette as well. So this one actually has some very jewel-toned colors, but there's also, and I love the packaging on this, that is, I love, I just love it. Like the texture, the, the, the intricacy, it's so pretty. But this one has dual tone colors, but there's also essentially multi-chromes in there as well. So this is what it looks like. The bottom row is all multi-chromes, and then up at the top, it's just all mattes. So quite an exciting one from them. This is where I say a massive thank you to my gorgeous friend, Tina. I have my little eyes on this. It's the Glaminatrix Into the Night palette. And oh my goodness. Oh, absolutely stunning. She got this for me for my birthday, which is back in May. This is, I'm letting you know, like this is a long haul. This wasn't just like, I got this all this month. I'm talking about four or five months worth of stuff. Okay, between moving, etc. I've just kind of shoved it all together. So this is the Into the Night palette. And oh, she was just such a sweetheart, Tina. She bought it and she sent it my way all the way from Australia. Isn't she just a sweetheart? And how gorgeous is that palette? I feel like I didn't hear that much from Dose of Colors these days, but when I saw that they were doing a 10 year anniversary collection, love this. I, I don't want to get rid of the packaging on this. Has this sort of like a little seal on it. Like it's a little invitation and I'm so afraid I'm going to rip it open. Bear in mind I've opened this a couple of times to look at it and play with it and like shove my fingers into it. But it's giving this sort of like 2008 sort of a thing and I do like it. This is very kind of cool toned neutrals. It's beautiful. It's what kind of Dose of Colours does very very well. And in addition to that, they also did, and I gotta say, I'm gonna keep the packaging on this as well because it's stunning. Look at the little rosy seal. This is, I think it's like a black rose or something was what it was called. This is the liquid lipstick. If you know me, you know I love red. Don't look at my chipped nails. I haven't had a chance to do them yet. How gorgeous is this? And I was right, it is actually called Black Rose, but look at the fabulous detailing. It's just so pretty. It's up. Uh, Love it, 10 out of 10 just on packaging alone. And I also got the matching lip liner with it as well. I mean, no need to show you that, but for full disclosure, I got that as well because, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Now I got some more clarity stuff. These were pre-orders that I had ordered, oh, I'd say back in like February or something. I actually had to ask them to change my address when they were sending it because I had bought it when I was living in my old place. And obviously now we bought a house, so. It was a whole thing. Anyways, this is their chocolate seduction palette, and yes, it does indeed smell like chocolate. Now, this is a glitter shade, so you know, beware if you don't like that. 
but I kind of like that. It's their shimmers like make me want to cry in a good way, not in like, uh, oh no, they're so bad, like in a good way. This, the bridal party. I swear the owner of Clarity and I have very similar ideas of what our bridal parties are like, even though I got married a year ago, but still. <gasps> like, look at that. It's stunning, you can tell I've shoved my finger into this a couple of times. Beautiful. I wish for my own sake that I could tell you that we're near the end, but we're not. So there we go. This is Adept Cosmetics and this is their Ketracel palette. It's highlighter, so there's like creams and then there's these blocks and they are just stunning. And then I got these. Now I haven't actually opened these yet because I wanted to wait. These are the waterproof liquid eyeliners, but they come in essentially multi-chromes and they are just looking super, super interesting to me. I think this one is Lieutenant Barclay, Gowron and Sector 001. So I'm very excited about those. You'll be shocked that the completionist in me got more Blend Bunny. So I got their liquid lipsticks as part of the Sugar and Grunge collection. So that includes Sweetheart, Runaway, and Moody. Very excited about these. And obviously I got the palette itself. Now they kind of deviated from their normal thing, which is having like the columns of color that all corresponds to each other, which I thought, was quite an interesting move and it looks like this. So Blend Bunny also came out with two separate cheek palettes. There's the bare cheeks and then there's the juicy cheeks and I hadn't gotten them and uh, I just felt the need to get them. The bare cheeks, I initially was like, oh, okay, but I actually feel like I will get quite a bit of use out of these. I think these are really, really beautiful colors. And then the juicy cheeks, I mean, I just love how fun and vibrant and different these colors are. So I was obligated, I had to get it. Then I got some Jolie Beauty and I've had my eye on this brand for a while, but it took me this long to actually get it. So I got the Vampirism palette and I like that essentially there's a uniformity to each of their products. But oh my goodness, I love this color story. It's just so, so interesting. And my friend Tess really, really recommended the brand. So like, I think if I didn't have her recommendation, I would have been that little bit more tentative about buying from them because, you know, if you don't know much about a brand, you're like, ooh, is it worth kind of thinking my hard-earned money into? But this was the one that really got me. This is what like kind of changed the tides. A terrible pun considering it's called the sirens palette so i'm looking at it again and it just gets me every single time it's just so beautiful and it doesn't translate as well on camera but in reality beautiful like i would inhale all of these they're stunning and honestly at this point you could make a drinking game out of how many times i say stunning because it is a little bit weird I then ended up purchasing quite a few things from Glamlight once they were like, hey, we're selling to Ireland. But they had like some bundles and a lot of this was bought on sale. So I got the Scooby-Doo palette and this was the Creeps and Crawls. I really had my eye on this, like I said, but couldn't buy it up until now. It's so pretty and I, I see now what all the hype was around the Glamlight formula. I was just being very like, me, 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 screw them, they don't ship to Ireland and I can't get them, so me, 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 but now I get it, I get it. But they also have this as part of this sort of bundle and it's the Ro Ro Raggy palette and it's so cute. I mean, they're packaging, 10 out of 10, but I really love this. I think the two of those palettes together are just going to make some really gorgeous looks. And I was so annoyed that at the time that Glam like did the second part or part two collection with Michaela that I couldn't get it. So I rectified that. I got the little one and I think it was like retailing for like 10 euro or something. Like they had it on sale. Now it is velvet, which <sighs> don't like that. Again, it's the sensory thing. Like I can feel my skin just crawling. But the shades themselves, beautiful. I'll get a lot of use out of this. And then obviously the big pet too palette. I hate saying pet because it feels like I'm making fun of her accent and I'm not. The packaging, I mean, this is just like a stimming toy, if nothing else. Like, oh, quite enjoy that. Beautiful. If you haven't somehow seen this before now, where have you been? It's beautiful. Very, very nice. And I gotta say, the look that she's done, 
<gasps> I want to do that myself. Okay, so I've only ever tried one thing from Ensley Rain and it was their Brittany Huffman collaboration, but it really drew me in. And I actually ended up buying that palette for Robert Welsh and he featured it on his channel. It was great and I was really, really happy and I was delighted he enjoyed it. So I went off and I ordered the Flower Moon palette, which... Oh, shut up. Just look, look at it. It's stunning. That's right. Take a drink. But here's the thing, right? I literally only ordered that and I was like super confused when the package turned up and I was like, why is there, have I gotten somebody else's order? What is going on? They actually put in a load of extra things. It's like a thank you, which, why? Like I literally just got like a person a gift. But they put in, I'm gonna show you these now, uh, the beautiful Molten Liquid Eyeshadows. So a massive thank you to Endley Rain. I hugely appreciate it. They put these four different shades, stunning. Very excited about them. And you would think, oh, well that's that's a lot, Teresa. No, 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 they put in more. So they put in these two kind of pigments as well. So absolutely stunning. And I could see how these could be used along with the Flower Moon. And also a really cute lip gloss. So that was all stuff I didn't actually buy. They just very kindly inserted that into the package. So very much appreciated. Thank you so, so much to Ensley Rain. I hugely appreciate it. Their customer service is fantastic. Um, I just, I really back the brand at this point. I have a lot of faith in them. Don't worry guys, we are getting somewhat towards the end. Um, this is Cosmic Brushes. You know I had to get this. My gorgeous friend Tia is an affiliate. I'll have her affiliate code, etc., down below. If you haven't bought from them, just, just do and definitely use Tia's link. This is the Delicious Delights. And um, oh, I don't know how they do what they do for the price point. It confuses me, but in the best possible way. Look at this, perfect for the summer. And I know, I know we're heading into autumn now, but it's just, it's still fun. And I, I just adore it. And they also came out with this frosting highlighter palette, which was, I think it was 21 pounds. It was very affordable. Oh, absolutely stunning. That's right. Take another drink. Now they also put out a little sponge. Now I didn't actually purchase this. This was a gift given to me by my lovely friend Daniela. So again, massive thank you to you. Very much appreciated. You have helped me add to my ridiculous collection. This is another collaboration palette and this is between Mika Beauty, which is a French brand, and Marta's Makeup, who is on YouTube, but also over on Instagram. She does gorgeous makeup looks. And this is, I think it's called the Serpent Palette. Oh. Guys, I really, really want to do a video on this ASAP because <laughs> that was a very aggressive look of joy. But look, look, if you guys have watched me for any period of time, you know this is my sort of a colour story. Like, look at that. Absolutely stunning. I feel like she put together just a really, really beautiful, cohesive, interesting colour story. And I'm really looking forward to playing with that. Then this is an older palette, but I've had my eye on it for quite some time. And this is the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose. And I thought it would go really, really well with the green and pink one that they have. I think it's, I can't remember, it's something rose anyways. But I just thought this will go really, really nicely with it. And I love how bright and shocking those pinks are. I also thought, could use some of these as like blushes as well. But they also change things up quite a bit and this is their Butterfly Vibes palette. So they've changed their packaging and they've changed the pan size, which I think is quite smart so that they could make it a little bit more affordable. So this is what it looks like. And the pan sizes are quite small to be fair, but I mean, who's hitting pan anyways? It's so tiny, it's so little, it's like a baby palette but so, so pretty. So I then got two kind of pressed glitters from With Love Cosmetics. Now, again, I didn't actually buy these. These were beautiful gifts from my lovely friend, Daniela, who gave these to me when she was visiting me. We did a whole present exchange. It was very exciting. Just two autistic people just kind of hand flapping and being like, oh my God, you have my special interest. I have your special interest. Let's, let's converge and be very excited about this. But she also brought me then this lovely single from Pastel Roses, which I really enjoy as a brand. I think they're great. But one of the things I was most excited about was her collaboration palettes. And uh, I'm gonna show you virtual first. You can't get these anymore, by the way. I know. Well, the less said about that, the better. 
but absolutely stunning. Such an interesting colour story and like the artwork, how cool is that? Just love, love the aesthetic of this. But obviously, you know out of the two, this is the one that I am all about. It's the Power Palette. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. So, so gorgeous. And again, that artwork, I mean, 10 out of 10, it's so, so interesting. I then picked up some things from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. So I got three different eyeliners, but they're all in different shades of green because I'm an idiot and I like green. And even though I'm looking at my eyeliners, I'm like, no, no, could definitely use these colors. They aren't in there. Those exact shades of green don't exist in my collection. I can justify things. It's terrifying. But I also got the Stone and Rock palette. And oh, there's part of me that kind of wishes I got the other palette that came out at the same time. It was like Jewel and something. But obviously between the two, it had to be this one for me. You'll see a lot in, in my recent hauls that these are the tones that I just keep gravitating towards. They're just my sort of jam. And then this is it. This is the very, very last thing. I am an affiliate, by the way, with Glisten Cosmetics, but again, did get these with my own money. These are the Chroma Flakes, and I got them in three different shades. I'm trying to see if they have it written on the side. This is Stardust, uh, Ethereal, or Ethereal, and Goblin. So I'm very, very excited to try those. But my gorgeous friends, that is like five, maybe six months worth of makeup hauls yeah in terms of indie makeup i do have more mainstream stuff um you know made by mitchell natasha denona etc coming in another haul so keep an eye out it is a bit ridiculous um as i said i have very very poor impulse control issues and between you know losing family members and losing a cat and all of the issues around like moving and other stuff happening in my own life I just wasn't able to curb my enthusiasm for makeup. So this is what has ensued. But my gorgeous friends, that's it for today. Uh, let's hope we don't have any more ridiculous hauls because this is a bit nuts. But do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and do please share because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.